Seeking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox, and in this video, I'm going to try and answer some of the frequently asked questions that I receive. Uh, so without further ado, stay tuned and cue the intro. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, we're back. Frequently asked questions. All right, one of the biggest ones I get most frequently is, hey, how do I contact you? Um, YouTube message, send me an email at vikingservices at hotmail.com. Here's the reality though, I get, I'm trying not to exaggerate, 800 emails a day. They all come across the phone, this phone, tick, 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 and I don't sit in front of a computer all day. I've been sitting in front of a computer more here at High Prairie Acres than I ever do at Shofar Mountain. And so if you've noticed, I've been answering and responding to more comments on the YouTube videos because I'm in front of a computer more. But when I'm back at Shofar Mountain, uh, we're just not in front of a computer that much. And so I don't answer comments. I don't answer most emails. I don't open most emails. Um, it's just, hey, that's me. It's fact of life. Uh, I've got things to do and talking to people I don't know about things. I, I know ah, it's, it's irritating and it's frustrating. Sorry, but if I answered every email, heck, if I even read every email, I wouldn't do anything else all day long. I wouldn't get anything done. Um, so, um, but that is how you contact me. Um, what's another one I get? USMC, United States Marine Corps. Semper Fi, Pastor Joe, I didn't know you were in the Corps. I never was, was never in the Marine Corps. Uh, the reason a lot of you think that is because uh, I don't own a lot of clothing. <laughs> so I wear the same clothes frequently. And uh, two of the shirts that I own are mock tees. That, so they come up to here and they say USMC right here. And you've seen it in the videos. And one's black and one's red. The reason I own those t-shirts and they're long sleeve heavy duty tees is because I ran the Marine Corps Marathon twice and they give every person who enters the Marine Corps Marathon, at least I did those two years, this really cool long sleeve t-shirt. It's rugged, it's heavy duty because it's provided by the Marine Corps and uh, it keeps me warm and so I wear them. And you know, the Marines put their thing there to, for advertising. Cool. I like the Marines, was never in the Marines. I know many Marines. My father was in Force Recon, so you know. The Corps has a, a place in my heart, but I was never in the Marine Corps. So I get that question or comment a lot. Uh, another one, where is Shofar Mountain? Where is Shofar Mountain? I'm coming. I want to come visit. Those kinds of things. We're in the Ozarks, and that's really as far as I like to go uh, with it, <clears throat> because it doesn't really matter where we are. You know, people, y'all bless y'all. I... I I try to put myself in your shoes and I get it. I'd like you to put yourself in my shoes. A lot of people say, I want to move right next to you. I want to buy land next to you. Please tell me where I can get five acres right next to you. Um, we are good neighbors. <laughs> we would be a good neighbor to you. But here's the reality. I don't know you. I don't know you from Adam. I'm sure you're a good person. And you probably are. But imagine this. Just look at the comments I get and realize that I get rid of the really egregious, ugly ones. You know, remove them. Um, some of those people write me emails and say, I love everything you do. We want to come live next to you. I don't know who they are. They could be child molesters, for all I know. We got a lot of kids at Shofar Mountain. Um, they could be just bad people with evil intent. I know you're not that person, but they're out there. And they write to me. <laughs> And they want to come live with us. And they want to know where we are. And I don't feel the need to tell you that. Okay, so the Ozarks. Um, we're in the Ozarks. How do I move to Shofar Mountain? I don't get that one as frequently anymore, but I've gotten it a lot in the past. And the short answer is you don't. Um, if y'all wills it, it'll happen. If not, you won't. Um, we're a community now of right around 30 people. And, you know, more people are coming. And it's not like we hang out a sign. So I know that's frustrating for some people. Um, how do I visit Shofar Mountain? I want to come visit you. I understand that. Right now, uh, we have decided as a community we're kind of taking a slightly different tact. Um, track? Tack? I'm not a sailor, you know. When we're going this way and the wind's going that way kind of thing. Somebody will put it in the comment. Um, 
and we're not doing visitors right now. We're not hosting visitors. We're not um, doing that. We may be doing uh, come spring. We're thinking about this. So we're talking about this as a community, but right now I'm up here, and yes, we communicate an email, but it's better face-to-face. -face. We're talking about doing maybe a long weekend in the spring where we let some people come visit like all at once and have a little event kind of thing. If we do that, we'll announce it. Um, but right now we're focused on other things, and you know we've got to get ourselves squared away, right? I mean, it's just the bottom line. I talked about that in a recent video. Square yourself away before you try and help other people. So we're doing that. Um, what do I believe? I get that a lot. I have a video, what I believe. I'll try to put a link to it down below in, in the uh, description of this video. And you can go there and check that out. I get a comment a lot that irritates me because of the self-righteousness in which it is usually delivered. And that's, it usually starts out with, you call yourself a pastor? <laughs> so do a whole lot of other people. <laughs> Um, you don't even mention Jesus one time in this video. Okay, here's the reality. I am a follower of Jesus. We call him Yeshua. Same guy. Um, I am a pastor. If you're really interested in all that talk, go to Shofar Mountain, the YouTube site Shofar Mountain, and you can watch sermons to your heart's content. Day-to-day uh, -day life Jesus does not come out of my mouth every 15 minutes. He's constantly in my heart. He's constantly on my mind. Uh, but that's not what this channel is about. If you're really into that, there are other channels you can go to. There you go. Um, and so that's one comment we get. And probably the biggest comment related to that, and I think it comes from like the astral uh, or however you pronounce that word, you know, the, the Norse god-worshipping people uh, for the most part. It also comes from just some plain nasty people. Um, but it's basically, you can't be a, a Viking and believe in Jesus or a Christian. Those two work against each other, blah, blah, blah. Why, you don't even, why do you call yourself a Viking? You're no Viking. Okay, here's probably the coolest thing that, that most of you don't know. Why are you called Viking preparedness? I have not one drop of Scandinavian blood running through this body that I know of. I am German, 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 Southern German, Austrian at that. You know, all my grandparents, all of them, Southern Germany and Austria. So there's not a whole lot of Scandinavian blood in there. Well, then why do you call yourself Viking preparedness? Okay, when I was in special forces... Uh, there were six teams on the hallway. I'll try and make this quick. Two of the teams on their team doors going into their offices slash work areas, if you will, had really cool plaques. The Halo team, high altitude, low opening, the skydivers, which really minimizes what they do. The Halo team had a really cool plaque. And the scuba team, you know, the bad boys of special forces, they had a really cool plaque on their door. And so I was like, hey, we want a plaque. We want to put something on our door, and we were a uh, maritime operations team, which everyone called us scout swim teams. And long story short, we decided to use a Viking for our logo, because Vikings are warriors and raiders from the sea, and that's exactly what we did. All right, so that was way back then. Um, and then for one mission that we did, we got, there's code words and code names, and they changed with every mission, but one, one mission we all got Viking code names, and it was kind of cool, and they kind of stuck. Um, and so there's that. So then fast forward, I was working with another company, and we were training uh, primarily law enforcement and military. I, I was out of the military at this time. Uh, training primarily law enforcement and military people in survival um, security type things, and I suggested to the owner of the company that we start focusing on the civilian market a little bit more. And he didn't really want to do that. Uh, he, he had a niche, it was working, and he's like, yeah, no. And I said, well, I'd kind of like to do that. And I kind of got his blessing. You know, I said, I'm going to go start a, a, a company um, to focus more on civilians, uh, to train them in some of these things. And so then I'm stuck with what am I going to call my company? You know, you got to have a name for your company. It's got to be cool sounding, um, <laughs> you know. Um, and so I came up with Viking preparedness. Vikings are cool, you know, and so that's why I picked it. So truth in advertising, not one drop of Viking blood in this little body. 
Now, my wife has a lot of Viking blood. And I think the Vikings are cool to have a lot of books over here on Vikings. Um, but So that's that, why I call myself Viking Preparedness. And by the way, the Vikings did convert to Christianity uh, before a lot of the rest of Europe did too. So there is that. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I have any more questions that we want to talk about today. Dun, dun, dun. I think that's about it. Those are the frequently asked questions. And yeah, for the next couple weeks, uh, you'll see me more on the comment section because I post a video and then I, I kind of wait and about an hour later I come back and I kind of look through the comments, see how they're going, and I, I answer some of them because I have more time on my hands here at High Prairie Acres. And so there's that. I hope that was helpful. Um, I, I get the sense that it was frustrating. It's like not telling people, excuse me, not telling you all what you want to hear. Um, but it's the truth. And uh, I hope that works for you. All right. I'll see you out there.